Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. This is going to be the last quick shot of the year. It's a good one to finish the year on. Grand Admiral Throne, VC296. I haven't opened them yet. I just thought I'd bring through these two figures to compare, you know, get them open. This one came from Tungori. That's the Legacy Collection Throne. And then this one from the Rebels line. Um, And then this one here. I've talked about it before, but I will also reiterate a few things about it. The fact that it's on a Rebels card, the figure itself isn't reflective of that character. This figure here is, you know what I mean? <laughs> really, that should be in the pill. Not that we'd want that. We want realistic figures in TVC or lifelike. Of which that brings me to the point I really think or wished it would have been an Ahsoka card for Thrawn and they would have gone all out to do Mickelson, you know what I mean? But still they didn't. So this is the one I'm going to open. Check out the damage on this one. Look at that. It's got like a pinprick thing there. And it's got like a terrible crease there, but that doesn't matter. That one is pristine. <laughs> so it just goes to show you don't know what you're going to get in the post. Let's get him open. Has he got a holster? Yes, he does. Great. He's too tall to fit in that bubble. I was going to recard him and see what he looked like, but he's a bit too tall. Oh, hang on. What would he look like? Hang on, let's have a quick look. Look at that. <laughs> that would be a perfect match, wouldn't it? See what I mean? Animated cards were kind of... Oh, all right. I'll tell you what I think about animated cards. When it came to the Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars line, they were awesome. Because the figures were still made to look realistic. As is this guy. This guy's made to look like a realistic throne. Unfortunately, we live in a time now where we've seen Mickelson on screen portraying him. From here on in now, I want... That is the live action depiction of Thrawn. Where is this one here? I haven't set him up yet, put him in a pose or anything. You see, this is where I miss out compared to other Star Wars fans. I know fans who've followed Thrawn since the 90s. People like Star Wars Santa, they were a little bit near about the uh, Ahsoka series because they built him up in their minds. You know what I mean? They've read him. They've seen images of him, no doubt, in whatever, novels, literature whatever sources but the physical depiction of him was under par in their opinion whereas i liked mickelson i thought he was pretty cool he had a uh, good presence as the character but this figure here is definitely almost like a scaled down version of the six inch one i guess i haven't got that to hand and i haven't really soaked it in but from what i remember that figure being this looks like it but it's yeah got to be a comic depiction right they've used the source for that figure probably comic this figure here was a legacy collection and probably using another source material for it i don't know so it's very confusing and then again this is such a muddled thing because you've got rebels car back and rebels emblem figure from a comic era you know what i mean whereas they could have had ahsoka mickelson mickelson figure i think um it wasn't that important to get a rebels car back for him he is in rebels yes and I think what's more important to people like um, Ezra, Kanan, you know, Chopper, all of them on Rebels cards. Yes, please. In fact, it's ironic because isn't Chopper on a Ahsoka card back? Wow, he is. So it's a bit all over the place, isn't it? But yeah, definitely for him, I thought he would have been better on Ahsoka, given that that's the new source material or new media, as people call it. Let's have a look at him in the bubble first. It's a nice looking figure, as in the sculpt is incredible facial expression or whatever yes he has a holster i don't know if you saw it in the fast forward of me setting him up that i put the pistol that he has gun which lacking weather in that not much paint up on that but i put it in his holster all white just like isb but he isn't isb is he i think it's just out of choice that attire maybe it's something to do with his um, imperial history that he wears white let me know if you know on that Carback is still pretty cool, I guess. It's a good image of him, is what I mean. A good photograph looking stern and stoic. Um, I do like Thrawn. He reminds me of... I don't know, he's got that dark demeanour like Maul had. You know, Darth Maul, but he's got that militaristic and cold persona that Tarkin did. You know what I mean? He's got a brain... But then again, if you watch Ahsoka and you break down some of the decisions he made, some of them were ludicrous. I never really, it kind of went over my head, but a lot of people were like, 
criticizing Thrones tactics. But what are the peckles like? Well, this isn't going to be a sure test. It's obviously rock or ankles again, so it's bound to be shallow. But will they plug on all right? He's going to be on his tip, tip, tippy toes. He has got ball jointed. Yeah, he has. Of course, he has this new Imperial sculpt. Let's see if I can spread his stance a bit. Let's go handheld and I'll show you what he looks like just set up like this. <laughs> there he is. Great figure though, isn't it? Lovely finish. Get Tarkin done, ladies and gentlemen. Or oh, Hasbro, get Tarkin done. That's a lovely, lovely outfit, isn't it? That lovely cream. Can't wait to get Krennic open. I'm going to put him on that spinner behind in a moment, don't you worry. Let's just drink him in here. Looks like he's leaning back though, isn't it? Look at this. It's just because of the situation with the fucking peg holes, man. Excuse my language. I've got him on two pegs as well, so he's standing wide. Still looks good. And then you've got this guy who's a lot taller from Rebels. The one that matches the card back. That's the 5 POA Re Rebels line. It was a rare figure, that, but I was quite pleased to pick it up for like, I don't know, one ninety nine from Home Bargain. Pfft, wow, what a bargain. And then this one now. I almost didn't buy that because I knew that we were getting this new figure, but I'm glad to get it because it's historically relative if you are a three and three quarter inch completist. And I knew I'd make use of more than one throne. Spoiler for choice now. I've got two to spread out on my display somewhere. Let's get this guy spinning now. Nice figure. I can't wait to get a camera with manual focus. It does my nut in that. I hate that. Let me move it back here. Let's see if the cat there the focus holds. The hair's nicely sculpted. It's beautiful attire, what he wears. His epaulets are really cool. He looks like a highly decorated officer. Now the focus is holding now because we got rid of that car back. Nice, what do you think? Looks like he has a hinge on his wrist there, which is good. Let's have a look at him. Got the ball joint, as you knew, on the hips. There's the hinge there. Just standard full articulation, man. The ball joint on the head is just... Let's have a look. Yeah, he's got a barbell there, which is good. So totally up-to-date figure for him. The only thing with it... On a technical level, the figure is not Mickelson. Lars Mickelson, isn't it? They've got Maz Mickelson, who played the guy in Indiana Jones and also Rogue One. Is it Lars Mickelson, the other? And then the card back as well. This, it, it, well, it, it doesn't work for, for me. These work because there was no way around that. The ARC Trooper, Captain Fordo especially, was... It just pops. These these are really poppy cards, man. Really good. And then you've got a realistic figure inside. But with this, it's a very specific look for him in Rebels. And obviously they can't do that. They can't put a matching figure. So what do they do? A realistic one but because and i'm repeating myself here i know but because we have now had a live actor playing him why would you go back with an old reference like that it's just it's a half-baked job i think they shouldn't have rushed into it like this they shouldn't have rushed into him instead of repacking that garbage they should have given and that's a beautiful car back they should have given you an absolutely shit hot Rex to go on that card back. And the word is they're bringing back Rex on a Bad Batch card. What? You've got a Rex in Bad Batch? Do you know what? I'm doing a video in the new year. Things that have irked me about Hasbro. Huh? I don't usually do anything like that. But it's interesting. It's just some observations I've made. Things like that. Which are just like, why did you make that decision? And I think that would be a good video to make. And it's actually swelled. It used to be, it, it was going to be a top 10 but then it became 12 and now it's more. It's going to be like a two-parter, I think. <laughs> There's so many different things and I can't wait to do that video. It'll be really interesting to get your thoughts. But I think that Rex 
thing will have to go on that video. Little things like that. Things like the Leia Bespin card back. You know what I'm saying? Leia, not, yeah, Leia Bespin escape, I should say. Sorry. The figure that we all have tucked away further so we can't see it. It's right in that corner there. I think Tim from Bosk's Bounty knows what I mean. Let's have a quick look on the back firstly. And then we're going to call this one. Call it, one a, call it a day. 296. Not a bad figure at all. And I now have three Thrones in my collection. This one I'm not decided on where to put him yet. Probably not my Ahsoka shelf because it doesn't look like the dude from Ahsoka. This one's definitely going to stay on my Rebel shelf. This one at the minute is stood with a load of other Imperials. He stood with Tarkin and the Emperor. And I think people like Ozzel as well. I've just got a nice little ensemble. Just a group of Imperials stood together. And he just looks quite good with all of them. You know what I mean? It'd be good to get one on a bridge in a diorama. You know what I mean? That would be cool. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. This is the penultimate video of the year. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you are new around here, subscribe. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out.